Hi, today I'm going to show you how gel electrophoresis and DNA um, mapping can be used to solve a crime. So, in this case here, we had a, um, a murder happen. And um, so blood was found at the crime scene that is not of the victim, so that is believed to be of the murderer, which is shown here and here. Now there are four suspects, so they're shown here and here. Um, so DNA samples were taken from all the suspects and compared to that of the murderer at two different loci. Um, and this is what the gel electrophoresis, the results of that were. Um, so if we're looking just at the first lo loci, let's, loci, let's see how this matches up. So the murderer's DNA here can match up with either that of th suspect three or four. Um, so we can just go ahead and circle both of those for right now. Those are possibilities based on the second loci, or the first loci. Um, based on the second loci, let's try to match this up. As you can see here, the murderer's DNA matches up with that of suspect one and that of three. So cross-referencing the DNA at these two loci, the only one that matches at both loci is that of suspect three. Thus, suspect three is our murderer in this case. Um, now, one thing that is kind of interesting about this case is suspect two is actually suspect three's parent. Um, so you can see on loci one, one of the two fragments lines up between the two. The other one doesn't, but one of them does. At the um, other loci, there is also a fragment between two and three that matches. Um, so that kind of distinguishes that it's apparent. Um, hope this made sense and was clear enough. Thank you.